Hello, this is Temporal, and this is Brutally Honest Bandai Kids, and this is the HGUC Zuda from uh, Igloo. <laughs> uh, little thing I haven't seen, but I like the design of this thing, so I built it up. So, let's, shall we begin? Let's start off with the build. The build of it was pretty simple. Just a couple slabs put together. And yeah, the most complicated part of this build was the arms. Because of so many parts there are. Like all these big parts right here. And this one has extra stuff for this arm. To come get the shield and stuff. And, uh, yeah. For uh, a little bit about the looks and stuff, for painting wise, I have painted the silver on the shoulders and the chrome in there. So it looks pretty darn good. I've also applied some of the sticker style decals, which don't look that bad. And uh, they kind of look bad in the shield. <laughs> I also applied chrome to all the inside of the thrusters. And I also painted the heat hawk and the sensor of the Zaku machine gun. Uh, standing wise, he can't really stand that well because of its weird psycho uh, physiology, or whatever it's called. And uh, like the display, uh, little sticker sheet that comes with. There's also another saver sheet, but I don't know where I put that. I didn't use any of them. And uh, for like the, the eye right there, you just get like a pointer. For the eye right here, I used a pink Sharpie, a uh, neon pink Sharpie. And now that eye will glow under UV light or black light. And I think it comes out really well. So I snipped this guy out with this runner, this uh, nipper tool right here, and it's quite good. I recently got it off Amazon, and it's a Rui tool. And then I also used this, uh, I think it's the PN125 God Hand, which is, it feels really nice with its grips. And I use that mostly for the, like the joints, and I use the other one for the armor parts. So let's start off. I'm gonna go with accessories first. So accessories wise, it comes with big sniper rifle. I painted that scope there. It's very, very big. It has a little bipod mount that can just articulate like that. And uh, the ammo can come off and go back on. And so that can this ammo come off as well. I left the holding hand on here mainly because it I have his other hand right there and uh, he can't really hold the sniper rifle without falling forward so that would just slide into the hand right there you know that one, that one right there for another accessory we have is the Sturm Faust and this will just uh, out here and then you can just plug it right into the hand like that the same is true with the uh, heat hawk I painted that well looks, looks decently good that's chrome there and the Zaku machine gun has a uh, what fell oh Zaku machine gun has two of ammo magazines one goes on the actual machine gun and one goes on the side skirt and both of these things uh the heat hawk and the machine gun have a peg which allows them to put slide on our peg into the hard points on the legs so this will just go into uh the what's it called the trigger finger hand, which is connected to the sniper rifle, 
so I won't be displaying that and on this review. Maybe a different review if I ever review the Nozuda. But this thing is fucking massive. Look at that size difference. I can uh, show you another sniper rifle here that uh, is big in its own right. We have the this anti-ship cannon from the Origin ones. And you have a a huge size difference, very big size difference. Anyways, let's go over the articulation. So I'm gonna take everything off this guy first, and then we'll go to articulation here in a second. The articulation of this guy is actually pretty darn good. So the head is on a double ball joint, but you get about this much, you know, and it can rotate all, all the way around. Watch out for the, the front part right here. Arms can swing up. Actually, I'll just use this arm because it's better. Swing up like this, about that much. And they can also turn about that much. So good articulation there. There's a single jointed elbow. So you get that button that much, and you have the bulge in the wrists. And there's also the gimmick of pushing this down and extending the arm so it can reach for its accessories on the legs. So there's nothing in the ab or anything. This big thruster's on a ball joint. This, uh, the sealed has a handle, so you can grip onto it and has spikes. You can just you know, attack things if you want. A good pose, you know. So front skirts are molded together on a bar with like a, let's just say, a little thing that stops it from sliding out if you cut it in half. But it's a, it's a bit difficult. I'm gonna actually show you guys it. So uh, I'll show you, let me pause it. All right, so we have back skirt right here so it has this little bar I cut it like this so when you turn it it doesn't you know come out but like you can't pull it out so that's that's it for that uh, I'm gonna put this guy together again all right so we're back and so you would get some full up like that and like a little bit wiggle thanks to you cutting it but if you don't cut it you're just there's just gonna go up together and there won't be any wiggle side skirts can go up about that far for splits wise, they're on ball joints. So you're not gonna get much anyways. You're gonna get a kick forward about that much, which is pretty good for a Xeon mobile suit. Then you get a nice double jointed bend with knee, but the back, the thigh is gonna hit the thrusters there. And I would be careful with the thrusters since they could break if you if it falls over or anything so be careful with that so yeah and the leg can swing about this much and I think there's a joint that makes him go like this yes but it's just on a ball joint you know some side to side and that's it for articulation of this guy. Articulation, it's pretty basic for arms and other stuff. Uh, the uh, gimmicks of it are pretty cool. About the, It can just reach its long weapons on its hard points there. And like I said about the sides, uh, front skirts, some kits do it. If it's a just a regular bar, uh, it's going to... Be, it's gonna fall out and I'm gonna say this one thing uh, this was recorded on Tuesday the 30th of April so about a week of the head and other stuff it's of the, the law gun review he's a uh, he's, he's, he's up there see him he's right there so this is gonna be the second review of the month of uh, May so it's second week, so just keep in mind, recording this a lot early. And for that week, I'm not going to have a teaser's review, a teaser video, since you already know I am have this review out. I'll just say, like, oh, I built those with a 
stay tuned or something like that. If you watch this video and stuff like that. But anyways, this has been Toporal Brilliant on the Panic Kits. I'd recommend this kit. It's really, I, I like it a lot. The design's very cool and stuff. And you build it in a couple ways, like a non-commander mode, like I did right here. And other stuff, and uh, well, goodbye.